give you an overview of the MS, MSH2 project on the fly. So the basic idea is uh, uh, of the MSH2 project overview. So this blue is really bad. Uh, so MSH2 project overview. So we know in human, uh, well, there's a MSH2 a mutation in MSH2 gene. Right, there's a mutation there. Now how do we know that mutation? Because we align the MSH2 gene. If we do an alignment, using a cluster, for example. And then uh, some of the some people will going to have mutation in some part of it. Uh, right. So those are the uh, mu mu mutant, and uh, the, on the top of the wild type, that's the mutant the one, mutant the two, mutant the three. Now, the question is, we want to study those mutations. Uh, in human, but we cannot because uh, nobody wants to be a guinea pig. Right? Besides, it's unethical or illegal if you want to do that. So in instead, uh, we want to study those mutations in uh, budding yeast. Right, we want to put that in budding yeast. In the budding yeast, MSH2 gene. Uh, I'm going to call that yeast. MSH2 gene. That's the human MSH2 gene. So I'm going to call this H MSH2. By the way, that's also the convention. So it, uh, you may also put more uh, Homo sapien as uh, uh, MSH2, or you can call this Saccharomyces cerevisiae MSH2. Um, either way. Yeah. So, but the question is, that for those human mutations, I need to figure out where in East we put into that. <laughs> so we also need to do an alignment. Find out the, the that's that's called a cognitive side. Cognitive side, or uh, it's basically a conserved side between between yeast and human. So we need to uh, make this called a side directed. Uh, Site-directed mutagenesis. Basically, convert all these human mutation into the yeast mutations. Uh, study that in yeast. Now, to to actually study this in yeast, we actually give you a plasmid called P M S H two. That's your wild type plasmid, and then. Each one of you have a mutant plasma, P M S H two, and with certain mutation. For example, the, I know one is M seven O seven I. That's your mutant. This is because uh, in the in the east we are using now. Uh, we delete the in the nuclear genome the wild type M S H two. We remove it. It's it's a, we delete that, and then the rest of it just carry on the plasmid. So, okay, let me do another slide. So, in the E cell, there are, there are chromosome. The yeast have chromosome, right? but the wild type MSH two. We remove it, but. Uh, once we remove it, we give you the a plasmid to carry it, the mutant MSH2. And let's say this is M707i. That's how we study the mutation in yeast. And we first remove the wild type from the yeast, and then carry the mutant gene on a plasmid. That's why every one of you can transfer, uh, transfer the, tr no, transform the mutant plasmid into the uh, yeast and study the effect of every mutant. That's really the key. Uh, uh, 
So, so far you have done several experiments. You, you do a mini prep to isolate the plasmid from E. coli. And then you did a, a restriction enzyme anal analysis to see which one carry an insert. And then you did a PCR to amplify the region which contain the mutation. And hopefully on Thursday, you do a restriction enzyme digestion again on the PCR fragment to see which one contain the mutation. And in both cases, we did uh, agarose gel electrophoresis. In both cases, we did that to see how the restriction enzyme distinguish the wild type and the mutant. So later on, you are going to, after this is done, you are going to do a transformation. Transformation ba basically put uh, the plasmid to yeast cells. <coughs> basically, this is the yeast cell. And that's your plasmid. Uh, if I use the right, so the plasmid is basically this. The basic transformation is basically to put a plasmid into each cell. After that, we'll we we'll, uh, we'll actually have a selection marker on the 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 plasmid. Uh, there's also a reporter plasmid. A reporter plasmid is a Euro 3. Uh, we haven't mentioned that uh, it, it will be the in your experimental design. The Euro 3, in front of Euro 3, there's a microsatellite. That really is a key. There's a microsatellite repeat in front of Euro 3 you are going to use. And the way we select for Euro 3 is, going, is a chemical called FOA. This actually, all, uh, you, if you watch the previous year's student presentation, the FOA is really the key to select for the function of MSH2. So FOA and Euro 3 provide us something called a functional analysis <coughs> of MSH2 mutation. Uh, it, that basically is the whole point of doing this project in yeast. Because in human, we cannot do this. You basically cannot take a baby, remove their wild type gene, put a mutant there. No, it'll be even, even you'll be put into jail by doing that, I guess. So, but in yeast, we can do this. Uh, it's too bad there's no uh, Easter right. There's no human right for yeast, I guess, it's right in that case. So <laughs> but we can, <laughs> that's the whole point of doing this. Okay, so.